I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to find exterior and interior angles of the given quadrilateral. Question here is find the measure of each unknown angle. So here we have a quadrilateral where three angles are given in terms of x and then we are given exterior angles x, y, z and u. You need to find all these angles, right? That's the exercise. Now at times when you look at it, you kind of miss out sometimes on this combination, which is exterior angle is x and the interior angle is 3x minus 22. Now this combination helps us to really solve this problem. So that's the key thing to observe here. So that's a linear pair, correct? So x plus 3x minus 22 is equal to 180 degrees right so that is a linear pair and that helps us to find the value of x so from here we can say 4x minus 22 degrees is equals to 180 degrees or 4x is equals to 180 degrees plus 22 which is indeed equals to 2 and 2 plus 0 is 2 2 or 2 is 4x so we can divide by 4 and get the value of x so we get x equals to 55 and then 50.5 so so we get x as 50.5 degrees right so that is the value of x now once you find x you can find the other angles right so that means 3x minus 22 should be what 3x minus 22, just substitute the value of x in it. So we find that 3x minus 22 should be equals to 180 minus x, correct? Now from here we can find the value of x or we could have actually substituted the value of x itself here to find the value of 3x minus 22. So that's a better idea. So what we will do is we will not really solve this once again so that's not quite good approach since we know what x is right we can substitute x in all these angles and find all other angles correct so it is 3 times 50.5 minus 22 is this angle right so which is 0 0.5 15 minus 22 so you can use calculator and find all these answers. That's my uh, thinking about this. And that is, write it in decimals, 129.5 degrees. Now, let me write down these uh, answers for you here. So we have x as 50.5 degrees, and we have this angle as 180 minus 50.5 so we could also write directly 180 minus 50.5 which will also give you the same answer and that is 129.5 you get the idea right so for all of the angles what you can do is you can just substitute the value and find the answer so for example this angle will be 50.5 plus 15 right so that gives us 50.5 plus 15 will give you 65.5 right now once you find this angle is 65.5 you can find z as 180 minus 65.5 right so write it in decimals will be 114.5 right so likewise you can calculate all the angles so this is 2 times x so it is 2 times 50.5 minus 10 equals to 91 degrees, right? So you get all these angles to get W. W should be equal to what? W should be equal to 360 degrees, which is sum of all these angles minus sum of what you found. So it is 129.5 degrees plus 91 degrees plus 65.5 degrees, right? So use your calculator and calculate these answers. Minus within brackets you can say 129.5 plus 91 plus 65.5 bracket close equals to 74 degrees, right? So we get W as 
74 degrees. So we get this as 74 degrees. So you can find all other angles. You will be what? 180 minus 74, right? So 106 degrees. Perfect. This y will be 180 minus 91, right? So 180 minus 91 will give you 89 degrees. So I'll write this in a different ink here. 89 degrees, correct? So likewise, you can write all the angles. So the two properties which we have used here is, one is that the linear pair, the supplementary angle or the linear pair is 180 degrees. So that is the main property which we have used. Once you find the value of x, it's kind of simpler to find rest of the angles, right? So I hope you understand and appreciate it. The key thing here is to understand that we could begin from this point, right? Otherwise, it is kind of difficult uh, to solve this question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.